Here in Ireland, the women are legendary for being hard-headed when it comes to matters of the heart. First of all, you've got to check out there and you can see that there is a promontory there called Hag's Head. And if you look very carefully, you can see the woman's head. It's like a rocky promontory. She's got her arms folded and big skirt going down to the sea. So how did she get to be there? Well, here's the story. Way back in olden times, the High King of Ireland had an army called the Red Branch, and the leader of the Red Branch was a mighty hero by the name of Cú Chulainn. And all the women in Ireland were mad about Cú Chulainn because he was a fine, strong man with muscles and big tall guy, including this old hag who went by the name of Mal. And Mal used to follow poor Cú Chulainn everywhere, and he was getting a bit proud off with this, so one day he decided he was going to run away and he started running the full length of the country and the hag was running after him and he came down to the west coast of Clare where the, the Shannon River meets the ocean and he comes to the point and he, the hag is still running after him so he takes a mighty leap out onto this island and the hag runs after him and she leaps too and the wind is billowing in her skirts and it carries her over to the island. So what's poor Cucullin to do? He's, he's had the full island of Ireland to run away from this woman and now he's on a tiny island about a hundred yards long. So he turns around and the fear is coursing through his muscles and he leaps back to the mainland. And just because he's you know strong, well-muscled man, he made it back to the shore. And the hag let out a mournful cry and she turned and she leapt after him. But this time the wind is going against her. And so her body was dashed down into the ocean and her red blood stained the sea. And you can still see that red stain in the sea at sunset when you're looking at it from the west of Ireland. And her body was swept up along the coast of County Clare and it finally came to rest here at the tip of the Cliffs of Moher. And it just goes to show we women in Ireland don't give up easily when it comes to matters of the heart.